Hello Bobcats, and welcome to another episode of The Sage. I'm Gavin Townsend. And I'm Duke Donnelly. And on this week's episode, we have a package on teen vaping. An avid feature. A look inside the BSU club, and much more. We have a lot to cover this week, so let's get right into it. To kick off today's broadcast, we'll be taking a look into the negative effects that teen vaping has. Staff reporter Charlotte Snow will delve more into this topic. It's an invention originally created to help smokers and now it's destroying the lungs of America's youth. Vaping is the use of like an e-cigarette or like a device like that um, to ingest or inhale like a liquid form of nicotine or other substances. Over the past decade, vaping has become one of American teens' fastest growing addictions, with over 1.3 million students having used a Juul or other vape pen in the past year. Um, I think that it's something that students maybe at first don't think is that big of a deal. Um, I know, even, I think in the beginning of all this e-cigarette stuff, people thought, oh, it's safer than smoking, um, but it's really not. I mean, Recently, however, the vaping industry has caught some heat for the mysterious illnesses and deaths that have started infecting vapors all across the country. And there's been so many illnesses of um, young people in the hospital, um, even some deaths that they think are related to that. But one of those pods that they could use um, could be equivalent to like a whole pack of cigarettes, depending on what's in it. So um, it's not safe and it's not good. And it's definitely something that we should um, work really hard to, to stop. Even if you don't vape that much, the effects are still detrimental to your health. Well, it has a huge effect on your lungs and on your respiratory system. Um, and then also depending on what is in the liquid that you are vaping, um, it can also have an impact on um, your overall body and your cognitive ability as well. Um, it could have a very negative effect on a student athlete's performance, um, mainly because of the damage that it does to a respiratory system. Um, you need to have a strong respiratory system. And so vaping has a very negative effect on that. With the facts laid out in front of us, hopefully we can make the smart decisions, Bobcats. Reporting for The Sage, I'm Charlotte Snow. And now, back to the anchors. Wow, it is quite interesting to see the effects of vaping up close like that. Knowing the serious nature of this topic and the negative repercussions that it has, it is important to be cautious. It's also important to be ready for what the future holds for you. AVID is a program at Sage Creek that is designed to help students prepare for what may come after high school. Here is Rachel Caval and Harper Hughes with the feature. Here at Sage Creek, there is a wide variety of college prep electives. One program that quite frequently gets misunderstood is AVID. First, we spoke to AVID coordinator Miss Salah to get insight on what the program truly is. AVID is a nationwide program for students whose families don't have a college going tradition or they are from historically underrepresented groups on college campuses and we just provide them the tools and skills that they need to be successful in college and beyond college. As the two teachers of AVID, Miss Williams and Miss Salah play a vital role in the success of their students. I job is to help support my students in their efforts to go to college. As AVID teacher, we are checking their grades all the time. We're also making sure that they're involved in extracurriculars. Um, we're making sure that they are going to be eligible for four-year universities. We train them on how to speak to professionals, how to be organized, um, how to work collaboratively. With many students spending up to four years in the program, Ms. Williams and Ms. Salah have created strong relationships with their students that have inspired them to pursue their future beyond the AVID program. I hope that my AVID students have an amazing time in college and uh, learn more about the world and about themselves and uh, do something to make an impact in their own community. My uh, goals and hopes for my AVID students is that they continue to build self-esteem and self-confidence in their abilities and challenge themselves as they go through 11th and 12th grade and then on to college. While AVID students have the opportunity to follow their unique pathway, many students share the same purpose in taking the course. I decided to take AVID because I'm a first generation college student. So I decided to take AVID because um, I'm a first generation college student from my family and I want to set an example for my family and my younger siblings and you know peers around me. 
Skills that students learn in AVID are not limited to the classroom. Got to know more of my teachers and more of my community, and it's helped me just overall excel in all of my classes. Many AVID seniors are preparing for the next steps in their academic careers. My hope is to go to college um, and really just push myself for more and push beyond my limits so I can um, have success in my future. Hopes for the future are to attend like a four-year college. After high school, I want to attend a four-year university. Along with the continuation of their education, AVID students will keep the connections they have made within the program long after their high school experiences. We say we're an AVID family. It's exactly how it sounds. We're together all the time. We grow up like during our whole high school years practically and it's like we're there to support each other and you don't really get that in a lot of other classes. This has been Harper Hughes and Rachel Koval reporting for The Sage. Now let's send it back to the anchors. Thank you Harper and Rachel. It is amazing to see the impact that a program like AVID can have on so many students. Now let's go to Cooper Hancock with this week's sports and announcements. Hey Bobcats, I'm Cooper Hancock with Sports and Announcements. Congratulations to the girls golf team for a great season and for finishing third in CIF. Congrats also to the members of the girls tennis team who play in the Avocado East League singles and doubles championships and to the cross country team who plays third in JV champs. Varsity cross country has a league finals at Kid Carson Park this Saturday. Winter sports trials are underway with trials for girls soccer from 3 to 5 p.m. today and will continue on Thursday and Friday. Boys soccer trials have begun and will continue for the rest of the week. Boys basketball had trials yesterday and are preparing for scrimmages this weekend where Varsity plays Madison and JV plays Helix. Girls basketball has trials this Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. Wrestling practices are every Monday through Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. in the wrestling room. No experience is necessary. Check out the dance show this Thursday and Friday and make sure you bring cans to your third period class as the canned food drive ends this Friday. Now I'll send it off to a live interview with the Comedy Sports team. Hey Bobcats, I'm here with a few members of Comedy Sports team, Belle Flanagan and Brooklyn Branson. Belle, would you mind telling me a little bit about Comedy Sports? Yeah, so Comedy Sports is essentially team improv, so we have a Sage Creek team here and then other high schools have their teams and we play improv games against each other in a performance style, but it's all based on sports, so we use sports terminology and it's really fun. That definitely sounds really fun, like your own sports team, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. So Brooklyn, what would you say is your favorite improv game to play? Mm, one of my favorites is definitely Thunderdome. Thunderdome? Okay, can you guys give me a little demonstration? We can. Uh, okay. Could you give us a topic? Oh, okay. Um, brands of shoes. Okay. Adidas. Vans. Converse. Uh, Nike. Uh, Birkenstock. Uh, Doc Martens. And then Brooklyn hesitated, oh, so no. she would get a hesitation and she would be out of the mm -hmm. game and the next person from that team would come up. Yeah. That definitely sounds like a ton of fun. Uh, where can I see you guys perform next? Um, our next match is against LCC and it should be in January, so keep your ears peeled for when that comes out. I will definitely be there. Well, you heard it here, Bobcats. You can check them out in January. Once again, this has been Bella Deeks reporting for The Sage. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Bella and Cooper, for the update. And with that, we have one more story for you. We at Sage Creek pride ourselves on having a diverse and accepting community. One of the clubs that reflects us is the Black Student Union, otherwise known as the BSU. Here's Emma Belchek and Madeline Mack with the story. Good morning, Bobcats. We are all aware that there are so many amazing clubs on campus, but one that specifically caught my attention was Black Student Union, known as BSU. So we decided to take a deeper look into what the club is all about. We had the pleasure of talking to Destiny Perkins, the president of BSU, about what the weekly meetings entail. So BSU covers a lot of different topics, from like weekly things that are happening in the news, we definitely discuss those. We definitely have other topics such as like how many black teachers are there in the U.S., 
from why are we code switching to like just different topics we like to learn different weeks. Um, we do monthly projects on like ourselves, on communities, or members that we love. She also explained to us who this club is directed toward. BSU and our students on campus is very, very small and we definitely took that into consideration why we started this club. Um, we understand that it's hard for students of color on this campus to feel like they have a place where they can be comfortable talking about certain things or even comfortable asking questions in class knowing that they're in the minority. And so in BSU we talk about certain things because we know that it's hard to talk about in other classes and we make it a place that's comfortable not to just talk about it around other black people but people that are willing to understand and listen to what we have to say. Okay, so our biggest goal for BSU this year is to collaborate with other clubs of color. So we've collaborated with MANA, which is a Latina empowerment group, and we are planning to do a BSU slash MANA mural at the school and then have like a painting with our clubs to represent unity and inclusion. We were also able to speak to Christian McQueen, a regular member and treasurer of BSU, about how the club has affected his life and why this club is an important community to have. Well, since living here in Carlsbad, in a predominantly like white town, I found like no representation in teachers or in like there was barely anybody like me. So when I learned that uh, Sage Creek had a BSU, I was like, I jumped full on board because I wanted to be surrounded with people like me who shared my same motives on involving or bringing black excellence to our communities. He also went into his personal favorite topic they have discussed. And there's a lot of different activities we do. But one of my favorite ones was uh, talking about uh, our hair because it's a very big thing for me. Uh, so, because it's full of different uh, culture and experiences. In conclusion, I think our club is very important on campus because my goal is to educate not just black people, but any person of color, any person on our campus. I think that with educating, you are learning more about different culture and learning how to, you know, code switch around them or maybe understand why they are code switching and definitely having to have a better understanding on yourself who you are and what you represent and what your goal is to have in life. Um, so I'm very glad like anybody who goes to BSU or if you're thinking about it you should come. Um, it's very educational. Thank you for this intricate feature on the BSU. Well Bobcats that is it for this week's show. Make sure to head over to thesagenews.com for all the news stories. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Duke Donnelly and Gavin Townsend reporting for The Sage.